second verse is the commentary. First verse is the reading. Second verse is the commentary. Follow me from Paul, a prisoner of Christ, and Tim the bro to Philemon, friend and fellow to a fia, our sister, Archippus, fellow soldier and the church that meet at your home. Grace and peace from the Father in Jesus Christ. I thank God for your prayers and your faith in Christ. I pray you stay active so that you can understand fully the good thing that Christ has for you. Your joy is great, refreshing the saints, and that's why I'm writing you in love. I ain't getting younger. Onesimus is saved now, useful. I love him, but I'm sending him back. He could have been like you to me for the sake of the Lord, but I didn't want to move your head and have it seem it was forced. There's a reason why he left and why I'm sending him back now. A brother in the Lord now, matter of fact. If you consider me a partner, open your door for him. R. Swift, show your grill like George Foreman. If you send the stove, something charge to me. This is Paul, brother, charging to me. I miss you, so good you. Do that for me, have a DC must prepare a guest room for me. I'ma be there soon. Answer to your prayers, E. P. Mark and Luke and them. Don't get me here. The four doctrines. You no longer a slave, but better than a slave. Only you can live in the folly. If you consider it all good, I pray you consider it all good. These are the four doctrines. I'd have said, Lord, that I trust that you can charge us again. And I need you to take it in. This letter is called writing a personal appeal to folly. This letter was written by Paul to Philemon, a good friend and pastor who loved Jesus, who lived in Colossae and owned a slave. Named Onesimus, who upped and ran away. Paul was encouraged at Philemon's church that he prayed for their faith and effective work. But the letter was really done on behalf of the slaves. Somehow through God's providence, they met one day. Paul knew all about the sin Onesimus did. Onesimus repented, became a king's kid. But still, Jewish law said, oh, had a debt. Paul knew that, which is why he paid for the debt of striking. Similarity to Christ at the cross, could you do that? The dudes who you knew who was lost, the moral of the story is that grace abounds. God uses discipleship to shake us down. The apostle Paul wrote the letter locked in prison, but the same words apply to us because we need them. Some of us like to sin and shake calm, run away from the big mistakes, but like Onesimus, a slave in the flesh, we free in the spirit. Today is the best day. To follow the model of the Apostle Paul and find somebody to give him our all. These are the four doctrines. You're no longer a slave, but better than a slave. In the letter to Philemon, if you consider it all good, Philemon, consider it all good. These are the four doctrines. I the true Lord that I trust in, that I trust in Him, and I need you to take it in. This letter is Paul writing a personal appeal to Philemon. Yo, so I appreciate you following along with me. What I just wanted to review once before we leave, the first verse was actually the entire letter to Philemon. The second verse is a commentary about the letter. But in case you didn't notice, in the hook, there's four core doctrines found in the book of Philemon. Verse 16 talks about salvation. Verse 17 talks about substitution. Verse 18 talks about imputation, and verse 19 talks about redemption. So if you pay attention and listen closely to the hook, you'll hear it and you'll find it. So praise God. Thanks. Uh. Yeah. Just kind of listen closely, and you'll catch it. Don't trip. These are the four doctrines. You're no longer a slave, but better than a slave, homie. In the letter to Philemon, if you consider it all good, Philemon, you consider it all good. These are the four doctrines. I the true Lord that trust said you can charge us to Him, and I need you to take it in. This letter is Paul writing a personal appeal to Philemon. Thanks for your time and attention. APX, peace. These are the four doctrines. You're no longer a slave, but better than a slave, homie. In the letter to Philemon. These are the four doctrines. I the true Lord that I trust in. I trust in Him, and I need you to take it in. This letter is Paul writing a personal appeal to Philemon.